Saturday, November 5th. This is George. I'm going to try to create a close to a daily blog just to share with you some of my thoughts and particularly what I think about what you're doing and how you can approach learning English. We're going to start out today with something a little bit deep and heavy about words and what words are. Sometimes we get mixed up on our purposes and why we're trying to do things. And it's important to know the, the heart of what we're doing and what the, the deepest purpose is, our highest calling and our highest purpose. The um, words have little value. They are effectively a placeholder for ideas, ways to share things that are within us. Um, certainly, learning words in English are going to help us to uh, pass a test, ask for things, give directions, maybe get a better job. But the real purpose of words are to help us connect with other people. Each of us are alone in this body of ours. And we need, we are programmed to connect with other people. In my worldview, in my, in my faith paradigm, we are in a fallen state. We're not the way we're supposed to be. We're not connected and um, part of the rest of the world and our relationship with God. But what we are is unique individual creatures. Inside are our, our dreams, our ideas, our emotions. And we need to express that and connect with other people, hopefully people of like mind. So these emotions, these emoting within us, have to reach out to other people and what we have to use now are words. So words in and of themselves are nothing, but what they represent is the very essence of who we are and the essence of what other people are. And they're what we use to connect. Now certainly there's other things, there's music, there's art, there's touch, but what we're focusing on here with what I'm doing with you is words and putting words together in sentences. Um, if you recognize how important communication and the words we use for communicating are, it becomes a different thing. It's, it, words only serve us to make those connections. So we must not focus on the words, we must focus on the connections, the ideas and the dreams that the, the words are supposed to represent. Then, words serve us. If we're focused on words, we're focused on the wrong thing. So, I'm already running a little bit long, but I want to be touched and I want to touch you. We are going to be using English. And I'm hoping we're going to have fun, too. We're going to have fun. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. Um, words are meant to serve us. And we can do wonderful things if we learn how to master words and not make words more than what they are, but a system to help us reach out and touch. That's it for today.